restart of the 250cc race over a shortened distance, seven laps. The riders coming in now after their warm-up lap. The man missing, Ian Challoner, who fell on the first circuit. The conditions and time closing in just a little bit on us here at Alton Park. And Ron Haslam making his debut on a 250 in the UK for 20 years, the last time he rode a 250cc motorcycle. The man nearest to James Hayden, and very much fancied in the middle of the road, but a dreadful start for Mark Barker. Everyone, with regard to tyre choice, has opted to go either on intermediates or full wets. There is no one out there, to the best of our knowledge, on slick tyres. Now, on the original attempt to get this race going, Challoner led very early on, but a lot of the riders were on slicks. The rain started to fall halfway around the first lap, and Ian Challoner fell quite heavily at the hairpin on his second lap. But leading from the word go, Paul Brown on the Honda, and Brown had some very special factory bits flown into that RS250 Honda. Just before this meeting, he's not going to be able to put them to good use, though. In these conditions, you can see just how much water there is, even on the hairpin. That's the point where Challoner and his bike parted company. Into Fulstons, flicking it through. Brown leads. Number 37 in second place is Haslam. So Haslam going very well, putting his vast experience to good use. Roger, 20 years since Ron Haslam rode a 250. Here he is in second place, having just been relegated as I speak. But a remarkable performance and experience will count for a lot in these conditions, I suggest. Yes, he, he was just relegated into third spot there by, um, by James Hayden. Um, his, his team Great Britain youngster who's moved up into second place. But yeah, Haslam first won on a 250cc bike, the bike that he's riding now 20 years ago at this very track at Alton Park when he won the 125cc, 250, 350 and 750 races all the same day. Darren Mitchell, number 16, sliding through the inside of Ron Haslam there, so maybe Ron Haslam just slipping down the order a little bit. It's Darren Mitchell now from Elland in Yorkshire up into third place, but the race leader still, Paul Brown. And um, as I said at the start of the race, Brown was one of six riders who could have lifted the title at the tail end of last season. He went all the way down to the last round at Brands Hatch, and at one point in that race, Paul Brown was leading the race and was in a winning position for the championship. He fell off, Nigel Bosworth broke down, and the championship went to Steve Sawford, who is, of course, the reigning champion, number one in your picture now. Steve Sawford then the reigning champion just off the top six. Of course, these um, tricky conditions make the riders look different to how they would have appeared to have looked in the dry. They're tiptoeing around the circuit, not getting maximum grip. The, the bikes aren't being lent over at the maximum angle, and the braking effect isn't quite the same. Equally so, some of the riders perform better in wet conditions um, and some in dry. The guy that's uh, in third place at the moment, and that's Darren Mitchell on bike number 16. He's particularly good in these difficult conditions, and it's no surprise to me that he's running at the front. James Hayden seems to be clawing in Paul Brown now, who's leading the race on bike number four, and, and Hayden will be really looking now for a win. Number eight, then. James Hayden from Amersham, the man who has a wild card. When I say wild card, he has an automatic entry into the British 250cc Grand Prix, the World Championship round at Donington Park, by virtue of the fact that he is an up and coming young rider. Also, he's part of the Team Great Britain setup, which is run jointly by Ron Haslam and Robert Fennell, who's one of the promoters at Donington Park. And I have to say, that's bound to help. One or two other riders, of course, would very much like to be included in the Grand Prix. And one of those is Nigel Bosworth, who was the pole position man in dry conditions. Uh, but Bosworth now is in eighth place. This is the battle, however, for first and second. Number 16, Darren Mitchell, the former Super Team champion in 1991. And that says it all. Darren Mitchell very much on the charge. So... Darren Mitchell motoring well, and he's lining up the inside to go through with James Hayden, and that was really close. 
Hayden, number eight, out of the slipstream of Paul Brown. So Paul Brown has got Hayden swarming all over him. He's gone past, into the hairpin. The youngster from Amersham now leads, and just remember, this, this young man is only 19 years of age, so what a bright future he has ahead of him. Darren Mitchell equally is vying for that second place. Paul Brown, I think, has got to look to his laurels. Interestingly, uh, the three riders that we're looking at um, have different riding techniques. If you look at Mitchell, he seems to sit bolt up right out of the, the screen. He swings the bike around quite a lot. Paul Brown's very smooth, very small, looks very stylish on the bike. And, and Hayden looks very businesslike. And um, that would be my best way of describing it. You see Hayden coming into view now, very smooth. It's important not to do anything too aggressively. That is to open the throttle, pull the brakes, or move the bike around, because they're skating around here. Look for the concentration on the rider's face. Look, staring into that corner. Very, very tricky indeed. Left hand on the clutch, just feathering it, trying to get the power to the ground without the back wheel spinning. But making a very good job of it, James Hayden. They are literally riding on a knife edge here, and Roger was talking about the different style. The number 16 rider at the back, I think some of his style is explained by the fact that he was three times a junior schoolboy motocross champion. And that is why number 16, Darren Mitchell, is just so good in the wet. He's riding it a little bit like a motocrosser here. He's tucking down, of course he is, behind the fairing in the straight line. But once they get into the turn, going well. Now a man who's really motoring, fourth place, number 49, Graham Thompson. Coming into shot now, Graham Thompson, the Irish champion current Irish Championship leader, and he, 24 years of age, has really come through the field. Thompson was well down the order on the first lap, but this seems to be suiting him. He's gone past the reigning champion. So, up into, there it is, fastest lap, number 49, Graham Thompson, really on the charge. He's gone past the reigning champion, Steve Sawford. Only been to Alton Park once before, and he was 14th in last year's Super Cup meeting. still number four and the gap opening up just a little bit now between James Hayden and Darren Mitchell Darren Mitchell if he's not careful he's going to slip back into the clutches of Graham Thompson and Steve Sawford also having another bite of Thompson I saw there just very quickly Sawford was going very well indeed this is the battle now Steve Sawford the reigning champion fighting back and let me just say that Sawford only found out this morning that his machine was supplied X factory with the wrong carburetors and his sponsor rushed off to Bristol Dennis Trollope rushed back to Bristol got the right carburetors and Steve Sawford came out for this race not having done any practice with the carburation it all seems to be well but he was certainly having a go there at fourth place Sawford would very much like to retain the championship James Hayden is riding like a 19-year-old. Uh, reminds me of my younger days, but he's certainly very, very aggressive indeed. Paul Brown on bike number four has the faster bike, and I think you'll see him take the lead again here. But no, Hayden's closing the door, and you see how close they are there, and that's at about 120, 130 miles an hour. That's given the op op opportunity for Mitchell to come through, but Paul, Paul Brown has the better line, so he blocks him out. But really, Hayden is riding very, very Hayden, 19 years of age, number eight. 24 years of age, Paul Brown in second place, and Darren Mitchell is only 20. So it goes to show, I think, that youth is very much on the side of 250cc racing, and we've got a wealth of talent here in the UK. It'll be very interesting to see one, two, or maybe even more of these riders in the Grand Prix against the best of the world, and we'll be covering that for you. Dollington at the very end of July. First of all, it's the Patrick on three dates. Darren Mitchell, number 16, I think he's got something up his sleeve. I get the feeling that he might have something up his sleeve. The number 16 from Elland.
riding nicely, looking really good. The rain still just coming down slightly, enough to keep the circuit damp, so the choice of tyres, in their case full wets, was definitely the right way to go. James Hayden riding with all the maturity now. I think, uh, just to contradict what Roger said, I think he's looking a very sensible 19, not the man we saw 12 months ago by any means. No, James, James has spent um, the first three months of the year at Ron Haslam's farm training, doing motocross, doing everything that he needs to do to concentrate to be a true prof professional in, in his class. Um, and it seems to be paying off. He's riding now on a defensive line into Island Bend, which is very sensible indeed. That stopped Paul Brown having the opportunity of overtaking him there. He knows that Paul Brown has a faster bike, and Paul Brown on machine number four will be looking to use that extra power in the last lap. This is currently the penultimate lap, um, so James Hayden really does need to have to ride defensively. May I just say, number 60, Darren Dixon, who is in sixth place and is obviously piling on the coals, would you believe is also a very, very proficient sidecar competitor and is riding in the sidecar races here today. And over the top of the hill comes former F1 bike champion, Darren Dixon from Folkestone, and he is putting the reigning champion under pressure. Such is the talent of Dixon that he rides a sidecar outfit at world championship level and is here in the top six of a national 250cc race. Frankly, I find that astonishing. Yes, sir, and I just saw Paul Brown put his hand up as if he was indicating, and he looks, looking behind, it looks like he may have a problem with the bike. Um, if at all possible, he's got one more lap to do. He may try and coach it round. Let's not forget that the championship points go down to 15th place. Well, a very good point. Over the line they go. 2.7 miles of the Alton Park circuit left for race leader James Hayden and the chasing pack behind him. Darren Mitchell now into second place. Paul Brown relegated to third, number four. So the 16 bike of the 20-year-old from Yorkshire is in second. And has he got enough kept just in reserve to steal it from under the nose of James Hayden on this, the last lap. Island Bend, up towards the right hand of the hairpin. Now, ever so gently out of this corner, too much power, and the back end will go, and the temptation will be for Darren Mitchell to feed it in as hard as he can. But very sensible, Mitchell then, we're with him now, in second place, and there it is, there it is. The temptation would be to squeeze just too hard on the last lap and he overcooked it. So 20 years of age, a touch of an experience, but what a tremendous future this young man has ahead of him. He just has to learn to control it in the closing stages of the race. Not wishing to tempt fate, but I felt it could happen. He was closing too quickly. Yeah, I think his style, as we mentioned earlier in the race, didn't suit the way you have to ride a bike in these conditions. Um, and that's really what caught him out there. He pushed the bike down into the road and, in fact, lost front, front wheel traction there and, and the bike slid away from him, nothing at all he could do. James Hayden, number eight, then, looking as though he's got this one in his pocket and this will be 20 points in the bag for Hayden. And a good second place for Paul Brown, checkered flags inside, over the line goes Hayden. Number four, Paul Brown takes second, and a good ride for Graham Thompson, who comes in third. Steve Sawford fourth, Darren Dixon is fifth. Here you can see this is always the case on the last lap. He had the, he had the best view because he could see Hayden disappearing, but as he's gone into this corner, it's a very fast flick, and really you can see the front wheel falls away, and it was purely leaning the bike too far over which was really down to his riding style luckily of course okay of course I wouldn't like to say what sort of condition the bikes in you can see it cartwheeling bits coming off it all the time and that really is going to be a very seriously damaged bike rider up then or we know he's up on his feet Bosworth came home in sixth place but 19-year-old James Hayden took the win. There it is, Bosworth, sixth, Brown, Thompson, Sawford, Darren Dixon, incredible, and Nigel Bosworth. 